Hello everyone, my name is Yuja, I'm the CEO from Social Network Club 3D and today I want to show you a quick introducing video how to install Unity 3D on the OpenSUSE. So let's go. First of all we need the Unity Editor installer .sh. You can find the link in the description down below. So let's click on it. I don't have to download it anymore because I did this already. So yeah okay while it's downloading you can do the next step and this is open yes then we have to search for two required packages that unity needs go to software install or deinstall that may take a time to load the repositories Then, yeah, now we can search for the package um, libpq5, so libpq5, <laughs> I call it that way. So enter, then you have to, to check the box here and search for another package. This It's called npm enter. And also check the box. After you did this, you only have to assume it and then it's going to install. After that we can open the download folder. If not already finished it to download then you have to wait for it, but yeah. Then right click on it, proprietary, permissions and then where here under groups and others you have to choose read and write for both and then also check the executable and then you can press ok so after you did this you can open the terminal as super user then you have to insert your password okay now we're good to go now you have to shift the installer over here you press enter and then you have to press another time enter and then it's going to begin to extract the folder on the root folder. This might take the time. I did this already so I can skip this. You have to wait a bit. And then you have to open the file manager. File manager as super user mode 2. Again. Okay, then you can see here is the Unity editor. Now you only have to shift it to the folder you desired. I'm putting it to the document folder. And then you can find it there. I, I got it already there, so yeah. Now Unity is installed and ready to use. I have some less notes about Unity itself. Because I had some doubt about it when a new Unity Editor version is released, that you have to log in again and download all all your assets and stuff like that. But that's not the case. So yeah, I can show you that it works. You also can make a, s a launcher with KDE, so you don't have to go to the folder every time to open it and I can start here the new project to show you that it's working so I hope it helps because I was coming from Ubuntu and ha don't had uh, so much knowledge about open source and all the stuff because uh, on the Ubuntu it's all working a bit different so yeah you can see it's working uh, thanks for watching